first morning in New York. We already had to cancel one plan because it turned out to be $500 to go to um, the friends building thing, but that's okay. We'll find other things to do. <laughs> Bye. 
Good morning. We are in New York. I am so glad to be here. I've been here for three days now. And today I'm about to go and explore, I think it's Chinatown and Little Italy. So I'm excited to take you with me. I'm currently in my hotel room and I, I have to show you the view right now. It's pretty incredible. And this is what I can see from my hotel room. New York in all its glory. There's Brooklyn Bridge right there and Manhattan Bridge. And as you can see, not much green. <laughs> it really is a concrete jungle. It's so weird to be in a city that feels so familiar uh, and yet never having been here. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to the ordinary Oh, I take it out of cue This can be a young man's game Signed up for the Hall of Shame I wish I knew How much I miss I know <sighs> So it's the next day. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Why do I have a Irish accent? I don't know. But I'm a little nervous today. I don't know if you can tell. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go and visit Brooklyn this morning. I'm gonna go through the Manhattan Bridge, walk around Brooklyn and come back through the Brooklyn Bridge. Um, I've never been to Brooklyn. I'm really excited to go. I have a feeling it's gonna be a bit like Hackney, Shoreditch side of London. Um, I'm trying to think if I were comparing it to Seoul, which area that would be, maybe Itaewon? No, no, I'm not sure. But what's making me nervous is that this evening, um, my husband is invited to a dinner, um, which is going to be at his work colleague's house and a few of his colleagues are going to be there. And that makes me nervous because I'm quite an introverted person. So first of all, meeting strangers in an intimate setting like that is already anxiety inducing for me, but it's his work colleagues and they're all directors, which I know in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. They're all humans at the end of the day. Their work title doesn't, I, say anything about who they are as people but it's still making me nervous and I'm not sure whether I want to put myself through that because um, if I do decide to go it will kind of make me nervous the entire day and I don't want to think about it for the whole day so like I don't telling myself that I'm not gonna go <laughs> and then I will decide like when the evening comes one thing I do now with things like this is I'm, how to say, I check in with myself in how I feel and I'm more compassionate about how I feel about these things, meaning that if I don't feel up for it, 
I'm okay with that. I don't, I don't become too hard on myself and judgy of myself. I'm like, why can't you do it? My boundaries are um, much more clear to me in terms of what I can and cannot do and how much I want to push myself outside of my safety zone. When you want to grow, you can't grow from A to Z. You can't make that jump. You have to go through A, B, C, D, etc. You have to make little steps is what I'm trying to say. And um, it's very easy to go too far ahead uh, when, you're, when you're trying to push yourself outside your boundaries. And what happens when you do that is um, you get pushed back, way back. And it can be quite hard to then get back to that level. So I'm very aware of taking small steps and doing it compassionately so that I can keep going further. And I'm not sure for me right now if a intimate dinner with four or five directors from this big American company is the right step for me in pushing my boundaries. I know I could do it, but do I want to? Because if it doesn't go well, there's no escape because I'm in an intimate environment. I might even start crying if something goes bad. And when I say something goes bad, it's like all in my head, like nothing. I don't expect anything to go bad. It's just someone might say something or and ask me a question and, and my mind might go blank and then I might feel like an idiot and blah, 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 I'm word vomiting now. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited to go to Brooklyn. Let's, let's just get ready and go.